अब तेरे बिन एक पल ना पीते बाबा अब तेरे बिन अब तेरे बिन एक पल ना पीते बाबा अब तेरे बिन एक पल ना पीते बाबा किस्मत ने है तुझ से अब तेरे बिन एक प
I continue, and I walk to the Tower of Peace. This tower is the symbol of achieving the highest consciousness, the consciousness of an angel. Beloved Baba, you have become a great tower of peace. You radiate the energy of peace and you transform me. I become like you, an angel, a messenger of peace. a messenger of harmony. Now, I stand before the Tower of Knowledge. Baba, being the embodiment of divine truth, you brought me out of the darkness of ignorance. You empowered me with the understanding of the three aspects of time, the three worlds, and all the deep secrets of the Creator and creation. Your knowledge has given me comfort your knowledge has truly liberated me. Now, I stand before the Tower of Might. Baba, you give me the blessing of being a master or mighty authority. You remind me of my original strength. I am strong. I am stable. I am a powerful soul, an image of support for all my brother souls. Now, I am before the Tower of Purity. The awareness of being originally a pure soul emerges again. Through this purity, I become a victorious soul, a child of the Purifier Father. Purity is my original nature. It is the real inner wealth of my being. the eternal beauty of the soul. Baba, it is your wonder. You prepare me for the future golden age, for the new, pure world.
the divine versions of our beloved Brahma Baba and Mama, the Shiv Shakti army was constantly moving forward at every step. According to the drama plan, suddenly Mama's health started to have more critical problems. Doctor had asked Mama to move from the Kanpur hospital to the Mumbai hospital for her further treatment. While Mama was admitted at the Mumbai hospital, many souls at the hospital started to experience divine presence. Other patients started to feel healing power around them. All the nurses, doctors, and the visitors were naturally attracted to Mama's room. Looking at Mama's lightness, the doctor decided to discharge Mama from the hospital as he thought that she had now fully recovered. However, drama had different plans. As she arrived back to Madhuban, many souls started to come visit Mama and experience her motherly love. Many used to say that the devis we have been praying at the temples have now become alive in front of us. They would call, O oh Mother, O oh Mother, in between Mama's classes. Everyone was lost in such motherly love of Mama. Suddenly, Mama's health started to reach its extreme condition once again. When the doctor came for a checkup, he mentioned in clear words that Mama had only few more days left in her body. Shibaba also said that Mama's part in this corporeal body is now coming to its completion. Baba said with such trust that Mama has reached such an elevated stage that even after hearing this news, she will not fluctuate at all. After hearing this message, Brahma Baba also remained firm in his faith and carefree in his awareness. No child experienced any fluctuation from Mama and Baba's face. Indirectly, Baba started to mention in his letters that children from other centers should come visit Baba and Mama in Madhuban. Baba had arranged an amplifier in Mama's room, where she continued to hear Baba's morley on daily basis. Despite knowing that she has reached her final moments, Mama continued to remain regular and constant in her efforts. Mama truly remained fearless and carefree during her final days. Jagadamba Mata Saraswati Yog Agni Mai Jyoti Jagati Gyan Kalash Mai Buddhi Shubhati Drishti Sneha Aviram Barsati Kya Gyan Shiv Ka Ucharana 
और मिटाया मोह आवरण कर सारा अज्ञान निवारण सरस्वती बन गई तपोधन They say that the people here are magic They say that the people here have magic in their eyes Look into their eyes and you'll see a brand new world shining in the distance They say that the people here are magic They say that the people here have magic in their hearts Look into their hearts and you'll see the light of love shining There's a word that the Say here a word that reminds you of some distant time ago, a time many years ago when magic was away, a way of life. I 
I am a most fortunate Brahmin. My life has become meaningful and very, very significant. See, I have become a sweet child of God. I am most fortunate one as God has come down to me being my father, teacher and Sadguru. He has become my friend. I am very close to him. I have never thought even in dreams that God will become so close to me. I am very lucky. I found him I belong to him. He belongs to me. He has blessed me with complete purity and all powers. He loves me very much. He is guiding me at every step. 
I am so fortunate that God loves me. I also love him very much. My Brahmin life itself has become a blessing for the world. God himself is giving a beautiful sustenance to me. I am so fortunate that he takes care of me. He has put his hand of blessing on my head. From his hand, pure energy is spreading and entering my whole body, mind and intellect. I am an angel, soul is sitting in the body of light. I am double light. for the world. I am an angel of purity. Pure vibrations are spreading out from each and every part of my body. I am an angel. I have incarnated on this earth in order to bring peace here. I have to give peace to all souls of this world. Baba has blessed me with full peace. Vibrations of peace are going out to the world. I am an angel of love. All souls of the world are my brothers. children of one father. I love all. 
I have to cooperate with all. I am an angel of might. Baba has blessed me with all powers. Many souls of this world are looking towards me with their thirsty eyes. They need might. They need a spiritual power. I am Master Almighty Angel. From each part of my body, rays of might are spreading out to the world. Thus, many souls of this world are receiving the vibrations of peace, purity and might. giving vibrations to the world. I am a soul, tiny point of energy residing in between two eyebrows. I am a shining point of light. From me, energy is spreading out. master of this body. I am the master of all sense organs. I am the master of mind, intellect and sanskaras. I am the master of all powers. From me, vibrations of purity and might are spreading in all of my body. These vibrations cool down my sense organs. These vibrations give energy to each part of my body. soul. I am peaceful. Rays of peace are spreading out from me. I 
I am a pure soul. Pure vibrations are going out from me. I am a mightful soul. Might is spreading out from me. I am a king. This forehead is my throne. I am self-sovereign. Everything is under my control. I am separate from this body. I have entered this body. This body is my medium. All elements of my body got disappeared and now I am bodiless, incorporeal, point of energy, a shining soul. Only me. I go back to my original home, soul world. I am in soul world. There I am in a liberated stage. Free from all bondages. Mukt. From there, I come down and enter a deity body. I am in deity form. In my first birth, I am completely pure. I am perfect. My life is full of all virtues. I am a deity. World Emperor. Sitting on the throne. with double crown on forehead. In front of me 
there is most beautiful court of deities many great deities are sitting there I am in golden age. I am in the heaven. Sitting in golden palaces. I can see my Pushpak Viman. I can see deities are moving around. I can enjoy perfect beauty of nature. I am in heaven. Now I am in my worship worthy form. I am Durga with eight arms. Or I am Vishnu with four arms. I can visualize my worship worthy form very clearly. I am sitting in the temple at the place of a statue. In front of me, in the temple, there are thousands of devotees are standing there. They have come with different, different desires and expectations. They are singing the songs in my praise. O oh Goddess, O oh God, you are merciful, you are bestower, you are the destroyer of obstacles. You are the best over of peace. You are one who fulfills all of my desires. You are full of love. You are full of might. Please. Make me free from all these obstacles. Have mercy upon me. Give your merciful drasti to me. Give your blessings to me. Listening these all things, I give them 
Sakas from me from my forehead vibrations go out all devotees are receiving those vibrations powerful rays of might are going to the devotees and thus their desires are being fulfilled they are becoming peaceful they are going back being full to satisfy their desires i am very pure full of love full of mercy full of blessings i am a worship worthy goddess i am a worship worthy god om shanti